Thanks to everyone who has subscribed. If you have not, please do. And thanks for coming out here. I really appreciate you. APC crisis. Adams Ushumole arrives party secretariat for NWC meeting amid controversies. The embittered national chairman of the All Progressive Congress, APC, has arrived his party secretariat in Abuja. Adam Soshomole arrived the Secretariat ahead of the APC National Working Committee NWC meeting that will be holding today. The APC had called for the NW meeting after some conflicting court rulings yesterday. APC National Publicity Secretary Larry Isia Oloru had announced the meeting in a statement yesterday and confirmed that it will go on as scheduled. Recall that the Court of Appeal had yesterday stated the ex exclusion order of a high court restraining Oshomole from further acting as APC National Chairman. Justice Abubakar Dirty led panel had granted the relief content in an expert motion contended by Oshimule's lawyer, Laulu Olukmokun San. However, a federal capital territory FCT High Court had also granted an interim order allowing Victor Gadom, acting national secretary of APC, to act as the party's chairman pending Oshomole's case. Justice Samari Baturi gave the order after Justice Samari Baturi gave the order after listening to an expert motion filed by Mustafa Salihu, APC National Vice Chairman, Northeast. Um, right now, Oshomole is in the meeting. Um, he's able to attend the meeting due to the fact that an appeal court did, has not shifted Oshomole's case away. Please. Because I hear different people sending messages saying, Madam, you are lying fake news. No, there's no such thing as fake news. Get it clear. When Oshomole was suspended, yeah, he applied to an appeal court, which is the normal judiciary proceedings. But we don't know where the crooked and orchestrated thing came from that a Kano court before 24 hours said Oshomole uh, can act as a national chairman, suspending what another high court has said. Two courts of the same judiciary standard do not counterize one another. So APC opposed the words of the federal high court, not minding Kano High Court because Federal High Court spoke first. Undermining that would be undermining law and order. It would be that Nigerian jurisdiction do not abide by law and order. So APC continued to uphold the law and the words of the Federal High Court Abuja. Oshomole remained suspended. Yeah, follow me. Now, when the Secretariat was opened, Oshomole was not granted access because he was suspended. APC as a party do not want to get into the judiciary, um, you know, the whole web of it. Being that as a party already, enough of confusion is already going on internally. There is a lot of divisions, a lot of cracks on the wall. And you can see the administration Permit me to say, in my opinion, is seriously failing. Starting from the presidency downwards, the economy is seriously failing. Now, President Muhammad Buhari, because of the court's order, was in between the fence and did not say anything concrete. At some point, his body gesture shows that he was for Shomole. At some other point, his reactions, as we are getting from investigations and following as journalists, was showing that he was against or for 
Oshomole. Get that clear. Now, the appeal court matter came through yesterday, 16th of March. What was said was that Oshomole is still the chairman of the party, but the case has not been decided. Obaseki still remains the head of APC in Edo State. Oshomole is the national chairman and the court advised them to go back and settle their matter internally. But Oshomole's case is still pending. March 20th, the appeal court will sit again to decide on Oshomole's faith as regarding what the high court has said about Oshomole. It's not only the case of him parading himself as a national chairman. There are all the underlining factors that the people that dragged Oshomole to court had on ground. So, Obaseki is not shamed. Oshomole is not shamed. Oshomole has been called to order by President Muhammad Buhari. Hence, he gave the go-ahead for the meeting of today, of which we are giving you the minutes and all that happened in the meeting. I hope that is clear. And I will stop hearing, Madam, we are giving fake news. We give you up to date and up to, as it's coming, we are giving you hot and fresh. What did they happen with the Disham? So now, so it happen, no. Now, what did Buhari they do this? Now, what did they do this? Now, what did Tunubu they do? Now, this person, this person, they plot against Shomele. That's what we are doing. We are not coming here to bamboozle you. You are intelligent people. For you to spend your data and be listening to the news and be following us, we truly appreciate you. It will be very unfortunate and unfair for us to be giving you fake news. We don't do that. At Apple Line Media, we are people of integrity and we give you the news as it comes. What is really happening in the country for you to be aware and to be dutifully fully informed so that you can decide and speak, you know, with reasoning and you can talk confidently knowing the facts. So, going back, I hope that is clear. And I hope that uh, my people out there can, you know, uh, oblige to what I'm saying and go ahead and, uh, you know, give us, give us kudos that we are giving you up to this minute of what is going on uh, around the country, around with APC and all that. Okay? So, regarding the meeting today, the meeting it was initially cancelled, you know, not, not really cancelled, suspended indefinitely. However... APC had a U-turn saying the meeting should go on as planned. And so the meeting scheduled for today continued as planned and has been, um, you know, is go ongoing. Where ahead of the meeting, before the meeting started, we had the person of Oshomole who walked in. He came in. Remember that the uh, appeal court said he's still the chairman pending his case when it will be finally decided or further uh, discussion on that matter will be going on on the 20th of March in a few days time of which will be keeping you informed as regarding that development. Yeah, so that's what is going on. Oshomole arrived the secretariat today to attend the NWC meeting. Now, this meeting was an emergency meeting called by um, APC to speak about the issues going on in the party because there's a lot of fractions in the party, you see. There are those who, I mean, every one of them, the, the main cause of contention, the main bone of contention is everybody's looking for their 2023 presidential ambition ticket. That's what everybody's fighting for. Permit me to say, they fight for their own daily bread. Every man for his own, God for all. My boy, they have for APC. It's a case of dog eat dog. That was what they've been doing. Okay? So it's not like anybody was for anybody no 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 the north is crying for yourself the south wants their own and the north we have somebody like erufai seriously eyeing the presidency in the southwest we have people like tinubu seriously eyeing the presidency in the south uh, south we have people like um, uh, uh, we have people like uh, uh, southeast we have people like amechi South, South, we have, you know, so there are different fractions and everybody wants their own parts. Now, what did they happen with that? Okay? So, Shomole attends the meeting today. He called their life and direct. Remember, I said, they thought, say, um, he don't say, now still the chairman, no? and uh, uh, Basak is still remain the one in charge of 
Edo State. So most people are not interfere. Make everybody mind him. Everybody came in line. I hope you get what I'm saying. So that's what is going on. I'll keep you. I'll very soon. I'll give you all the up to date uh, minutes of the meeting. What we discussed, the resolves, and the where the what, what the de decision they finally made regarding the meeting, the way forward regarding the um you know the issues that are underlining all the misunderstanding and differences, and um, you know all the loggerheads that they've been at in APC. Thanks for listening. I hope I've been able to clarify the minds of most of you. Have a lovely day. God bless. Bye.